Have you ever wondered why some people's dreams seem to just spring to life in the world of reality, while others' dreams never get farther than wishful thinking? For the longest time, this was a very frustrating and sometimes heartbreaking reality for me. What about you? Do you have a dream in your heart that you just can't seem to make happen? If so, would you please share it in the comments below if it isn't too personal? Those things that I wanted so badly always seem just beyond my reach. But guess what happened? I discovered the answer and it has changed my life. I'll be sharing with you the process that got me started on my exciting journey. And if you're curious to know what I've been doing on this journey towards achieving my dream and where it's brought me so far, then keep an eye out for my future video, which will reveal and demonstrate the route that I'm taking towards fulfilling my dream of establishing a hobby farm debt free while still paying a mortgage on my current home. Achieving a dream is all part of a process. First, it starts with clarity. Not having a clear vision of what our dream entails is like trying to hit a target while wearing a blindfold. What I had to do was focus and visualize the dream to the point that it was crystal clear in my mind. This goes along with that old adage, what you think about, you bring about. The second stage involves setting SMART goals. The clever thing here is that SMART is used as an acronym to classify whether a goal that one has chosen is actually feasible. A feasible goal is one that is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, or timely. So remember the term SMART. Setting SMART goals is not a step that can be taken lightly. Because if your goals are not characterized by these elements, then the goals you set are not achievable. It will be a complete waste of time to move forward. Knowing how important this step is and being fully aware of how easy it is to lose sight of one's goals. I wrote out my goals and made rough sketches and collected images that represented what I wanted. And now I have visuals to continually remind me of what goals I'm working towards. I've learned to think of goals as the stepping stones that will guide me on the path towards the greater prize. In other words, I found that goal setting provides structure and a sense of direction. I'm no longer aiming blindly at my target. The third stage of achieving a dream, and I think you would agree, is the most essential stage, and that is taking action. This means that I would have to dedicate myself to putting in the hard work by taking consistent action day in and day out. And I was ready to do that. But I was quickly reminded in real time that there would be obstacles and setbacks along the way, despite how hard I worked. When you're working hard and then problems come along to make things even more difficult, your whole optimistic mindset can be overturned by frustration and feelings of defeat. I'm sure that you can relate. Well, this experience involved the fourth stage building resilience. I had to make the conscious decision to bounce back, to learn from my failures, and to keep my eyes on the prize, because that was the only way forward apart from quitting, and I wasn't about to give up. I could never have made it this far in my achievements if I had not persevered, which is the fifth step. You see, while big dreams don't come to fruition without big challenges, they also don't come to fruition overnight. It's a journey filled with highs and lows, and problems that take time, patience, sacrifice, dedication, and sometimes even hard-earned cash to solve. And mine have taken all of the above. But in my mind, my dream is worth all that it takes to keep persevering and pushing forward despite the hurdles. So let's recap the five steps that it takes to fulfill a dream. Number one, clarify the vision. You must know exactly what your dream is and have a fairly good sense of what it will take to accomplish it. Number two, set SMART goals, that is, goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, that is, relevant to your dream, and time-bound, or can be accomplished within a set time frame. Three, take consistent action. In other words, never lose sight of your goals and work towards fulfilling them every day. Always have a plan ready to move forward. Four, build resilience that will be needed to overcome obstacles, because there will be many to overcome. You can be sure of this anytime you have a worthwhile dream. Five, persevere during the challenges. Don't give up when the road to your dreams becomes extremely rocky. 
maintain your focus and steer with determination through the storms. Admittedly, dreams are not for the faint-hearted, but for those who dare to believe, who dare to take action, who dare to press on, knowing the outcome is worth it. There will be successes that will lend you hope and bring breaks from the storms, but be assured that the successes will be followed by obstacles, which will complicate and possibly even delay the reward of achieving your dreams. Of course, we always embrace the successes, but I encourage you to purposefully and wholeheartedly embrace the complete journey, which includes the obstacles and challenges as well, because the adversities are the necessary cornerstones for building the dream. If there are no obstacles, well, then your dreams aren't big enough. So don't be reluctant to step outside your comfort zone by dreaming big. Then let your dreams guide your reality, even if naysayers work overtime to discourage you. George Bernard Shaw once said, you see things and you say, why? But I dream things that never were, and I say, why not? Let's all be a George Bernard Shaw when it comes to going after our dreams. Again, I encourage you to check out my next video that will tell my story of how I'm pursuing one of the biggest dreams of my life. Like this message, its purpose will also be to encourage you, to give you hope that your dreams can be fulfilled and that you mustn't allow the challenges to stop you. Because at the end of the day, it is the challenges more than any other concept that will help you out not only to achieve your dream, but to strengthen your character in the process. Well, thanks for viewing this part of my story. And if you feel so inclined, please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to come along with me on my farmstead journey. And if you've already subscribed, I can think of no adequate words to thank you enough. Goodbye.